What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, in today's video, we're going to talk about seven stocks that are at or near our buy zone, which also means it's a good time for you to dollar cost average into, guys, okay? So keep it like I got a jam-packed video for you guys. But before we jump into that, do me a favor, man. If you know someone or if you yourself could benefit from an improved credit score, do me a favor. Please like, but more importantly, share this video right here okay here's the thumbnail for it. share that for me just do matter of fact start what you're doing right now and just go share that video go bless somebody that may need that information okay and if you need it yourself put it on your watch list and make sure you go back and watch it when you get a chance all right again guys holistically i want to see you guys be the best you can absolutely be on this wealth building journey okay Thank you in advance. With that being said, guys, take a look at Tesla. I'm going to just quickly highlight this. It is sitting at 162 at the time of this recording. The only green thing that I have seen up on today, okay? Again, it was a wild ride regardless of how it got to that point. It went as low as 159. We caught some of these levels out in Discord today, okay? Support was at 160. If we broke that, we would come down and, and test that 158 level. Look at this, sitting down here at 159. We bounced off of that and made a run back towards 162. It's heavy resistance, and so they'll keep us range bound, but that's something you guys need to be mindful of on your day-to-day -day journey, okay? But check this out, guys. Apple had earnings today, and they reported after hours. I talked about this in last night's video, the fact that they had earnings, and if they were going to go down, okay, typically it happens after earnings. Check this out, okay? They were down 1% throughout the day, all right? After hours, they were down okay down here at 165 before they had a blast off okay this one had and went ahead and rocketed up to that 169 169 level again trying to test that 170 level which again continues to be heavy resistance i wanted to call out this one before we jump into our seven stocks on the day because they had an earnings pop but please do me a favor. Don't guess. Don't gamble. Please don't front run. React to what this play does tomorrow, okay? Look for two things for me, okay? When a stock pops and goes towards resistance, you want to see if there's follow through on that pop. You want to see if it was a pump fake or will there be follow through? So that's number one. Say, I am looking for follow through. Follow through means that we test 170 and break through 170 and go to 173. That's follow through, okay? Not hit 170 and then come back down to 165, okay? That's called a false breakout. And number two, I want you to see if we get rejected at this level, watch market open, watch pre-market tomorrow for me, guys. See what kind of game they play. I need to start teaching you guys how to, in pre-market and the day before, how to prepare for the, the game they're trying to play. They're setting traps each and every day. That's why they're showing you this. They're dangling a cattle in your, a, a, a carrot in your face right now. 170, 169, 170, only to get you excited. And then there may be a rug pull. Again, it remains to be seen. We don't guess, we don't gamble, we react. And that's what I want us to do. Do those two things for me, okay? Apple though, nevertheless, had a pop in earnings okay but check it out guys ticker symbol schd sitting under 70 dollars if you rock with me we go shopping at this level this is considered to be in a buy zone okay i'm gonna always come on video and give you a reminder when it's time to go shopping right now it's time to go shopping okay under 70 dollars i want you guys to start dollar cost averaging into this again get what you can afford on your journey understanding this is how you generate passive income okay check this one out vti ticker symbol vti sitting at 201 where do we buy this at 200 and below it is getting very very near that level so i want you guys to be looking out for tomorrow what kind of move does this have does this break down further and come 
to 200 or below. If it does, that is your cue that this is a buy signal because it is in our buy zone and you dollar cost average at that level for me, okay? This is how you build it out. See how you had to demonstrate patience. See how at 206, we wasn't buying heavy at these levels and below, we can begin to buy a lot heavier. Make sure you stick to and watch through these videos so you can see the journey as I take you on a 100K challenge, okay? Then you have Exxon Mobil. This one was just 119. I remember I told you guys this was in a rediscovery mode. It had never been that high before. And when it got up there, it didn't know what to do. So it came back down. It got rejected and smacked back down to a level that it's, it's, it's known to, to have some comfort at. We call that support. This one is sitting at 106.05. This is where I like to get this at, that 105, 103 level and ride it back up to now. We know it can go to 119-ish. We're looking to see that go higher. Again, this is a great time and a great level to dollar cost average into this. Then guys, you have Verizon, okay? Ticker symbol VZ, you already know under $40, okay? Mark these levels down, under $40. So 37 is under 40. You guys can go ahead and accumulate some shares. You can be dollar cost averaging into this one. This is another dividend play slash passive income generating play for you guys okay understand what these are and then you have Altria ticker symbol mo sitting at 46 dollars and 12 cent again nice place to dollar cost average all right on tomorrow do me a favor see this as an opportunity to go shopping if you can't get all i want you to focus on what you can get look at main street capital this is our dividend play this one has fell back under 40 dollars okay still on the higher side but nevertheless, what do we do when it's high and it ain't at quite at our level? We, we just pick up a lesser amount of shares, okay? And on this particular case, I like this more at 36 or $34, but again, under 40, you still getting a nice bang for your buck and it still pays a monthly dividend. And if you're trying to see that number increase and grow, it's still a great place to accumulate shares, okay? That's how I want you looking at this, all right? And then last but not least, guys, we have Capital Southwest sitting at $17.47. I had to wait a long time, guys. I'm up 16% in this, and so couldn't do nothing for a long time. Now that it's back down here, I can start rebuying and rebuilding out my position, okay, so that I can continue to get that nice juicy dividend each and every quarter, okay? These are some plays that I want you guys to have on your radar these are seven stocks that consider buying now or because the fact that they are at or near our buy zone you can begin to start putting your strategic plan in place making sure your dollar cost averaging making sure you're buying your position size knowing that we're trying to ultimately get 125 shares in route to our grand total of 1000 but it's baby steps at a time and i want you to take one bite of the elephant at a time okay do me that favor don't forget guys we are on a journey together and i want you to embrace the grind but more importantly enjoy the climb listen we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey so do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace